Hey there, and what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another review with me, Ben Rogachan, aka the Seattle Data Guy. Today, we're gonna make a video answering the all important question what is a data catalog? Now, if you are a subscriber to my newsletter, you have seen my catalog of data catalogs, where I think I had nearly 26 uh, data catalogs listed, and there were plenty of comments that I had missed a ton more. If we look up what a data catalog is, one great definition is a data catalog utilizes the metadata of your company's various data assets, as well as provides some ability to have data management and search functionality that makes it easy for your team to gain context on said data. All right, so that's a great high level description, but we need to dig a little deeper. And before digging into the specific kind of features and expectations that we have of data catalogs, let's kind of list a few reasons why people are looking into them. And I have a few people who would like to add some points to that. When I was tech lead of our uh, data team at uh, Braintree, the, we were a centralized data team and um, we hit a point of scaling to to where there was so much complexity in the tech stack and very, and extremely limited visibility into how any data was generated, where it was uh, where it was replicated, how it was transformed, mm. how it was then used in reporting, how it was used in compliance, um, and so my team is that central kind of layer. What we were just constantly drowning in complexity because um, you know there would be breaking changes in production that had huge ripple effects downstream and like just repercussions that we couldn't even we couldn't even predict so um, by the time that we were talking about getting a data catalog um it was sim it was simply because our team had ground to a halt in terms of productivity a lot more people started to come in who were sql savvy uh and the number of like tasks started to kind of exponentially grow hmm. um you know like if you have a central team managing it maybe you have you know like a couple hundred tables uh, and very quickly that that starts to go from a hundred to like, you know, a couple hundred to a thousand to thousands. And then people start, you know, asking, well, like, what is the data that went into this? Like, how do I know that this is um, the quality of this data is right? Um, but they don't want to go and look at the code. They don't want to like query data. They just want like some place to look at this as like a summary of the table or the health of a table. Um, but like previously we were using DBT as also like there's a data dictionary feature of it. Um, and like when I would ask questions, I would just get thrown a link um, for DBT. Yeah. Um, and then when I asked like, where's this data coming from? Um, I would get like the DBT lineage graph, which is, uh, is just really overwhelming. And it's like, okay. Much. Like Atlan provides like a much nicer UI, like for people to be able to click around and it provides column level lineage, which is mm. where we see like people are asking questions the most like, okay, where did you get this attribute from? Where is, yeah. where is this coming from? As you can see, there are tons of reasons that people realize that they need a data catalog. Most of the time, it's because your data infrastructure just starts getting really complex and very difficult to manage or at least understand who owns what and you know where is data coming from, what's the quality of that data. And so that's really what a lot of modern data catalogs are trying to answer. If you look through a lot of modern data catalogs, they really focus on a few key areas. These areas would be data search and discovery, which is pretty standard, some sort of glossary, you know, where there's business uh, terms and terminology explained. Data lineage sometimes tends to be an external tool. And there aren't that many tools that also cover data lineage. Although the sponsor of this video, Atlan, does also provide data lineage. For those of you who don't know, Atlan is a third generation data catalog. They are focusing on being a pioneer of the active metadata category. Atlan focuses on the bi-directional flow of metadata. That way you can get context where you are when you need it, rather than having to go into a siloed metadata environment. For instance, let's say you are on your BI tool and you ask questions like, are the data sources verified? Was the pipeline run successfully? What do these metrics mean? Who owns this dashboard? Well, you can get all of that context via their Chrome extension. It brings metadata into the tools that your users are using every day, connecting to Slack, conversations with your data assets, letting you raise your tickets directly from your lineage, and even driving automated workflows like deprecating unused data assets on your data warehouse. Adlin is also being used at companies like Plaid, WeWork, and Postman to improve their data initiatives. If you're interested in learning more about Atlan, please feel free to check out the link below.
data catalogs should also increase collaboration through a few different methods. Everything from knowing who you should track down in terms of who owns a table or a data asset to being able to see who's kind of using data and also being able to share kind of about data across an organization, not just internally in a monolithic tool, but also externally. And that is the collaborative element. So, so one thing that I'm very focused about is like something that like a magnetic field that draws end users into the catalog because it's so powerful the way it can search the people go towards the data catalog they're really onto something with the fact that they want to do the opposite thing right they mm. want to they want to push this function out in every source system so that you can work with the metadata in the system that you are they yeah. want to unlock the the data catalog so it's not this monolithic uh, thing that you have to go into and search and then go out to your source system and like try to connect that and i think that's a super nice vision that they have there and and i totally support that also you want to have data governance as well as the ability to integrate that data catalog with everything else that you're dealing with. And there are different reasons that people pick different data catalog solutions. Some people like open source solutions, some people like out of the box solutions, but here's a few reasons why people have made different choices in the whole data catalog selection process. At that time when we started looking around for, for different solutions, um, for, uh, for yeah, keeping track of our data, keeping track of, of metadata around yeah, our warehouse and, um, uh, its dependencies and and use cases. Um, there was basically only one um, open source alternative on the market. I had a DevOps engineer help me for a month or so when we try try to to deploy that thing and and uh, and uh, fortunately we were we stumbled upon Data Hub uh, around mm -hmm. around the end of that that month and. Uh, now that we've talked about kind of what a data catalog is as well as what features people expect. Let's talk about why and what are the benefits of picking a data catalog. The major benefits you'll often see when you implement a data catalog is improved data efficiency. That is to say that people can now figure out what data exists. They don't have to go create another table that already exists twice um, because they couldn't find it. They can also figure out who the owner is very efficiently, improve context in terms of who is using that data, as well as where is it coming from? What's it getting used by? Is it supporting certain dashboards, which you can often see in the lineage or possibly in the notes or somewhere else um, in the data glossary. You've also got the reduction of error as people can kind of start figuring out which assets are technically valid or for production and which ones are just there, um, but not certified. And overall, the goal here is to improve your data analysis workflow. You want to have better data analytics. You want to be making good decisions. You want to be using the right data sets. Without a data catalog, people are often just kind of stuck trying to figure out what data is valid, what data is not, what data is just test data, what data is not technically considered verified. Um, maybe even quality or freshness might not be clear um, off the table. So all of this can be managed often in the data catalog. The truth is the data catalog space is pretty crowded and all of these various data catalogs have different features and benefits. Some don't even cover lineage, others do. Um, others provide the benefit of being open source, meaning that you can change code if needed and if you've got a team that can actually manage platforming, whatever the solution is. But the real question becomes, what are your end goals and who is going to support whichever tool you pick? I was definitely spoiled at Facebook. We had iData. Uh, I really personally loved it. Uh, you can read kind of a light article here about it. It really was a great tool for just figuring out and getting context quickly on all of your data. I rarely even had to ask other people about data sets. I could just kind of go and see how other users were kind of using those data sets, how they were joining it, to kind of figure out the general way you should be using said data. And you could always ping an owner, especially if the data hadn't either been updated a while or maybe the uh, last diff to update the pipeline was a long time ago. It was really easy to do. And so I really do like data catalogs. The next question becomes for a lot of data teams out there, when should we actually use a data catalog? When do we actually need to look for one? There are various reasons you want to consider a data catalog. It can be your team is growing. It can be the access or usage of data is increasing. You're having more dashboards be created everywhere. You're having more and more tables as well as more and more data users just, again, come at you every day asking questions. And usually for most companies, it's probably too late in terms of when they're implementing their data catalog. It's just another contract that you have to figure out, you know, which solution you should pick. And so for some people, it can feel easier to manage that information in some sort of static format on a Notion document, which is great initially, but eventually I think most companies realize a data catalog that automatically 
scans, your data warehouse, your data lake is probably the way you need to go. Data catalogs are great ways for you to kind of track and manage what data exists, as well as provide context about that data. What is the quality of that specific data? Where is that data coming from? Is it, again, is it verified? These are important questions that as your data infrastructure becomes more complex, you're going to want some way to kind of wrangle it. And with that, I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Thanks and goodbye.